Hello and welcome to another Night Shift. And today we want to work more on our chat. And for that I opened the game. And you can see um, the guys moving here uh, with our moving keys. And if we hit return, uh, you see the nice blinking here. So we focus this uh, uh, input field. And I can type something. I can even type the moving buttons. And uh, you see, it's fully workable. And if you type return again, it's up there. And uh, we can move again. Uh, so that's the little problem what still happens. Because we don't have a focus set to something else. Uh, we work on that later on. And you can see sometimes it's a little bit buggy. Um, so that's all because we don't focus something else. And um, we go to work on that later on. That's the first part. In the second part, we want to transfer this uh, over the network uh, and maybe add a name or something like that. So let's stop that and go into our start scene. And um, the first thing we have to think about is where we add our chat stuff here. And um, since we want to manipulate the player controller, uh, and the player controller is added um, while we are starting the game. We add that to the game manager. So make a new script and uh, going to add that to our game manager. So that's the f one thing we want to work with. And the other is the player controller. And we start with the my chat. For the MyChat, you need to have the Unity engine and the Unity engine.event system and the Unity engine.ui. And since we want to reference uh, this uh, script to in the player controller, I added a namespace, yazil.chat. And um, I added two public variables. Uh, one is the input field and one is the text field. And so I called it just uh, chat input field and chat output text. And next is the private variable we want to manipulate for if the player can move or not move. And uh, since we want to um, add uh, or get the value in a different script, uh, of course, you couldn't do that with a public and stuff like that. But this time, I just want to have it in a getter setter. So uh, I have a public bool can move. And if I use the get function, I return the can move. And if I uh, want to set a value, it's uh, I set it to private. So only this script can set the value. And uh, we want to set the can move uh, is equal to the value we have in the set. So that's uh, well known, of, of course. Uh, <clears throat> next is we want to go into our update method. And we want to see if the uh, get key down key code dot return. So if the return button is pressed, then we want to do something. And the first we want to do is we change the uh, can move value. So if the can move is false, it will be true. And if uh, it's true, it will be false. So if it's false, then we want to do something. That's the uh, initialize uh, um, and the uh, focus on the input field. So that's easy made. We just uh, go into the event system that current that set selected game object and then the game object we want to uh, have selected is the chat input field. And <clears throat> if we press, press that the second time, uh, the return key, of course, then we, of course, want to change to that first. And we then want to go and see if the chat input field.text is empty. If it's not empty, 
we want to do something and what we want to do is to uh, get our chat output text dot text and add our chat input field dot text to it and followed by a backslash n for a new line and the next we want to do here is to set uh, the input field dot text uh, equal to nothing so we are ready for the next uh, return so here we could go and uh, make an uh, make a new game object and set the focus back to the game object or even we can uh, uh, can uh, see what uh, we focused before and focus that later on again but that's for uh, the next part so <clears throat> um, next we want to manipulate the uh, player controller script and for that uh, I added the uh, namespace here zeal.chat and here I had a new private my chat I called it underscore my chat and a private bool underscore can move and I just set it to true in our start method I want to grab my chat or the my chat game object so we do my chat is equal to game object dot find game manager dot game component uh, get component uh, my chat since we have that now, we just uh, want to see what's in my chat dot can move. Of course, you could just put that in here, but I just like it this way, so it's more clear what we do. And then just uh, make the if statement um, around all you got here in your movement stuff. So if we if we don't can move so if can move is false nothing of this happens anyway so that's all for the first part the second part uh, we want to um, add that into our network and for that I built it the game and started it up twice as you can see uh, by both guys are somewhere here Let's move him a little bit there. And um, you see when somebody logs on, uh, he tells everybody uh, somebody is logged on. So later on, we will add in the name or something like that here. And if we put the return key and uh, type something like uh, test uh, or whatever, you see it is on the other client. So <clears throat> for uh, that uh, we just close that and uh, we go into our unity again and we made a new c -sharp script I called it my chat manager and in that my chat manager we going to use a standard structure of uh, the dark rift um, communication which is um, which is uh, uh, one time the bind to on data event you already know that which uh, says we bind ourselves or the script to the on data handler uh, to the on data sorry and we going to open the function on data handler for uh, when communication is coming in into Darkrift so in that handler we going to see if we receive the network tag uh, chat tag for that we go to our y const and add a new variable here that's for my chat I used for feel free to use whatever you want and uh, I used uh, um, subject send message and it's just one so if we send something we get the one uh, for one you're gonna save that and go back here next we go into the the if statement and see if the subject we got is the network tag uh, chat subject send message so it's the one and if that is we going to try and we're going to invoke an uh, event 
I used something different here, uh, so you learn something. You not always have to do this not equals and stuff like that. You just can fire up an event with the invoke here. And for the event, let's go up there. Uh, we need to delegate. That's a public delegate void uh, gotcha message event handler. And uh, it uses or it needs its string. And uh, the event uh, I made is public static event gotcha message uh, event handler. On the, the event uh, itself is called on gotcha message. So we just fire up the event on gotcha message uh, here in our on data handler. So if we receive something, we're going to fire up the event with the uh, data we got here. And uh, if we cast an exception, we just debug log uh, that uh, we got something wrong. And for the last part of the standard structure, we need something which we send uh, the message into the network. And for that, we just uh, see if the message we got here is uh, null or empty. If that's the, the case, we just return and bail out of this function. The next is we check if the Darkrift API is connected. And if it's connected, we just uh, go and uh, send message. And this time we don't use send message to server or send message to all. We're going to use the function send message to others. So we just want everybody else uh, gets the message and not uh, we um, and not the server. And then we send the network tag chat tag and the network tag chat uh, subject uh, send message so we send the four and one and the message itself since we only have one variable to send we just can use here uh, this uh, variable direct we don't need to use the dark rift writer and build a construct of that and send the construct then so just one thing we send and it's just that after we send something we bind uh, to on our data event, which is here the binding on our um, event from uh, Dark Rift, the on data. And when that happens, we are finished. And if we are not connected, then of course we throw an error. It's just a debug log uh, can't send a message if we are not connected to the server. So that's basically all for the uh, chat manager. Um, since we want to use it in our MyChat, I build it a namespace here. So just to enclose the namespace, uh, um, whatever you like. And of course, you need the Darkrift uh, namespace. <clears throat> so that's the basic. Uh, we send something, we receive something, and uh, that's it. Oh, and when we receive something, of course, we fire an event so we can, can use that. So we go to our my chat we did in the first part of this video. And um, here you can just go on your start message. Uh, you bind yourself. Uh, oh, let's start up there. Uh, no, no, everything we already had, we already had. Do, 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 do. We just need to, okay, my chat manager dot on got chat message. That's the uh, event we fire up and we bind ourselves to that event and we fire up a message. It's called add message for us. And uh, then we're gonna use the send chat message function in my chat manager and we just uh, throw here and string in it so my uh, new player logged on later on we want to add a name or something like that in our update function we just uh, going until this if point and the if point is uh, we going to check if it's empty and that's just like we did before. We're just going to delete this line and going for my chat manager dot send chat message 
ähm, die äh, äh, underscore chat input field dot text uh, string, which is in there, and we send it through the message uh, out in, uh, to the server. And since we send everything uh, to others and not to all, we have to make sure we uh, self uh, see in our chat uh, field the uh, the message. So we use and uh, the message we call here and add message also, and that's the add message. And we just put in the string we get from this text field. And later on, we just uh, going ahead and. Uh, uh, delete everything in these text fields so it's it's empty for the next round we press return so and uh, add message is a real simple uh, function it's just uh, a private void and it needs the string of course since we put in a string here and uh, in our event we also want to have a string and we just say that this message is added to our chat output text dot text and we add an slash and a backslash and for the new line to it so every time we get a message the event will be called this function will be called and uh, the message gets uh, next to next to next to next so we got some problems on this part the first is what happens if we have more lines than uh, our chat window is high so um, it just won't get updated any longer so we have to, of course shorten that so that's gonna be part of the next video and of course we want to have here our player inside or a player name so it uh, named something like uh, Yazil is locked on now or something so that's it for the uh, video today. Uh, my special thanks today goes to uh, Terence Conrad. Thank you very much for pledging for my course. And for the rest of you, uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you liked it even more, just hit the subscribe button. <laughs>